SCAF Logic introduces you to a world of logic. Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I will be demonstrating how to join sections together. In this video I will be using Liar All Around Scaffold. If you have a different scaffold brand, you may notice that I have different measurements and components available for use. When you drag out a section, you can place it anywhere on the desktop that you like. Simply drag and click to place your section. When you place one section next to another, you can see that the system automatically glues them together. We are now using the snap function, which will help you in placing your sections. When I come to a corner, I have the option to place my section like this or like this as I round the corner, using my mouse wheel to rotate the section. Either way, the system will automatically glue the sections together. Let's say just for fun that as you are placing your section, you end up with a small space. As you can see, the system is already accepting the section and gluing it in, making adjustments as necessary. The system will accept gaps between the scaffolds up to 5 centimeters. You may run into a situation where you will need to apply what we call double verticals as a result of loading capacity or other considerations. In other words, you may need to have two sections standing very close together with couples. This is accomplished by placing one section very close to the other without letting the sections touch. See the system trying to glue the two together as I get close. And when I release it, it will be coupled together. I can go back and undo it very simply by holding the Alt key down left clicking and moving the section away. There are really no limitations on how or where I place a section as long as it fits to scaffold requirements. I can place sections at various angles and in different directions. If I want to have an uneven angle and you can see the system wants to help me here, I will need to override this help function by left clicking and then dragging it into the desired position. You will notice that I have made a rather sophisticated scaffold here, which I am now able to build up. If you have problems with connecting sections, it could be due to the load on the horizontals. And I will be discussing how to deal with this situation in the birdcage grouping video.